In today's video, we talk about why you should have protein before you go to bed. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rebella from ProPhysique. Dot com and today's video topic is just going to be about the idea of having late night meals. I know a lot of times it can be harped on or talked about that eating after a certain time can be bad for you. But I want to kind of correct for that because although my clients and the people that tend to follow the, the flexible dieting lifestyle are more aware that the most important factor for your day is your total calorie intake, such as how many grams of protein you get for the day. Let's say you were supposed to get 150 grams of protein. How you space that is then secondary to the most important factor, which is that daily total. Something that's really changed with me over the last few months has been without a kitchen, I've had to go buy prepared meals from a food service. And what that's allowed me to do is have a really good meal at about midnight or 1 a.m., which is typically when I'm kind of finishing out my day. I usually work till about 1.32 a.m. I'm just, I tend to be a night owl. And so it's been kind of nice to have a prepackaged meal that I then throw in the microwave and eat. And the macro ratios are usually between 30 and 40 grams of protein, 20 and 30 grams of carbs, 10 and 15 grams of fat. Nice numbers for a final meal. And the reason that I want to talk about that is because before that, what I would do is I might just have a Quest bar, right? Maybe simply just a Quest bar out of ease. I could go unwrap the wrapper, eat it. Or I might go have some popcorn or something that was easy to grab because without a kitchen, I didn't have an option for like a bunch of food prep late at night. I couldn't, you know, I, I typically would go like make myself some eggs or cook some chicken or make myself something late at night. And I kind of got out of that habit and I kind of got back into a good place and I felt better. My recovery's been better. My body composition's been better. Strength has been better. And I've been doing videos recently, like attributing a lot of the things that I've changed, you know, such as using a meal prep service and having more consistent spacing of my meals. But that last meal before bed, uh, I feel it's very important. And I got, a, I got an email from Greg Knuckles from the uh, Shredded by Science group. And uh, as you know, they put out MASS, the monthly application of strength sport. And so this actually pointed to some research that shows that uh, protein ingested late at night actually has benefits. So I'll link the two studies below that I'm gonna reference. And granted, they're not the end all be all of references for study. But what I really liked about them is that they both discuss the benefits of having a protein ingestion late at night and increasing muscle protein synthesis and recovery from the previous day's training while you sleep. Because I know, you know, if, if, if we get our last meal at six and we don't go to bed till 10, and we get up and at 6 a.m., well, there's 12 hours, and that's missed opportunity for muscle protein synthesis. Whereas, if you stay up till 10 and you get a nice meal right at 9.30 before you go to bed, there's another boost to your muscle protein synthesis that's gonna help overnight. And while I do think sleep is the most important thing, so there was a period of time where some bodybuilders were talking about, you need to get up every three hours in the middle of the night, eat some meal, drink a shake, whatever it is. I don't feel that's necessary only because I believe sleep is much more important than stimulating mus muscle protein synthesis. I don't think our bodies would be so short-sighted that we would miss out on progressing as athletes and as beings by not eating while we slept. Sleep is very important. But by adding that meal right before you go to bed with a nice large dose of protein, and again, whenever we're talking about Stimulating, stimulating muscle protein synthesis, we need to hit our leucine threshold. So that's usually done in a, in a protein dose greater than 20 grams, 25 grams, maybe 30 grams, depending on the source. Um, and so what we wanna do is just have that nice meal right before we go to bed. Now, your carbs and fats for that meal can be based on what your daily total macros and calorie intake are, are supposed to be. I personally like to save a nice meal, a nice hearty meal for that final meal. I don't like to just have, let's say, a protein supplement. Now, if I do have a protein supplement, I'm a bit lactose sensitive, and you don't want digestive issues when you go to bed, because what can happen is, if you have a digestive issue when you're sleeping, you'll wake up, you'll actually be heavier than when you went to bed. And this happened to me in 2012 when I was prepping, and I had to remove protein concentrate from my diet and start eating a meal and I immediately felt better. I also noticed 
that I can use a whey isolate. If I'm gonna give props to Core Nutritionals, they make a fantastic protein isolate, which digests very well for me. So I will use whey from time to time when it's necessary, but I love to eat food. So I only use whey protein as a way to supplement food as a means of, uh, you know, making my life easier. So the basic idea of this video is I just want you guys to get into the habit of getting as many protein doses spaced out throughout the day. And, and for many of us, that last meal before bed, you know, I know a lot of people like to have, uh, you know, they don't like to eat a lot after 6 p.m. You hear all this negative stuff about carbs after 6 p.m. As long as you're accounting for your total daily calories and your total macronutrients, and you got your protein and you got your fiber for the day, meal timing becomes very secondary. Where it does become important is getting a boost to muscle protein synthesis later in the day like this, and then also recovering for your next training session, right? Those proteins that you're taking in, those are getting synthesized, those are getting utilized, they're getting stored, added onto your muscle so that you're recovering and you're better for the next training cycle, the next training day. And at the end of the day, bodybuilders, powerlifters, crossfitters, whatever you're doing, we are athletes that need to recover. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today on Monday. I hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll come to you again tomorrow with another video. And uh, until then, have an awesome Monday.